Hi guys and welcome to Forge Right. Glad you could join me. If you're a regular viewer, you would have seen I've just finished constructing my coal forge. I call it a coal forge. I'm using charcoal, so I should call it a solid fuel forge. Can't seem to access any coal or coke in southern Tasmania, but I'm working on it. So I need to construct a shovel to be able to put coal, charcoal, into my forge, scoop it out, clean up around the forge edge, whatnot. I'm just going to be using a piece of three mil steel plate and I'll make up a handle out of some square stock that I've got. Square stock, round stock, not sure what I'll use. I'll have a look, see what I've got. But uh, it's only going to be a basic uh, construction. But in order to do so, I'm going to need to be able to pound out a depression in the plate so because I don't have a professional swage block I'm going to make myself a timber uh, I believe they call them um, no it's gone now can't remember what it is but um, yes effectively a timber block with a depression scalloped into it so that I can uh, pound out some steel and make certain shapes Okay, so I'll catch a bit of that and uh, get back to you when I'm further on down the road. Right, so this bit of timber is not what I would use if I had any other choice. But uh, at the moment, it's what I've got. It's an off cut off an old fence post, as you can see, hardwood. It's got some pretty hefty cracks in it there, so not ideal. I'll make a better one in the future when I find myself a better log but uh, starting point will be to make a circle and then I shall um, do a bit of footage of how I am planning on scalloping it out so the first thing to do is to decide on sizing I've um, I'm going with this little circular piece of plastic I've got here which came off the original connection of my blower don't need that anymore because I made an adapter plate so it just happens to be 125 millimeters across and I think that's around about the right size for making the depressions in my coal shovel I'm going to try and put it in there because it's the most solid bit of timber so I'll draw a line around that and see if we can um, start cutting out a 125 mil or five inch, roughly, depression. This little spider here is not real impressed that I've cut up his house. I'm sorry buddy, I've, I've actually kicked him off a couple of times and he just keeps coming back and runs up to the top here so I don't think he's going to bite me but he just doesn't want to move out. And he's certainly not scared by me.
Okay, that's pretty good. Uh, around about 125 I've burred the edges over so there's no sharp edges so that's probably about 128 pushing 130 the actual hole itself 127 right to the edge of the bevel 130 uh, we've got pretty much oh, about 27 mil deep I didn't get all the way down to my 30 mil there it might be enough it feels like a pretty good depression to be able to get a um, coal shovel shape in okay well I think that went pretty well I uh, ended up getting the tool made that I needed to make it's only a temporary dishing tool I did remember and um, it as you can see has been used so I have tested it out but this video is just the creation of a temporary dishing tool so you can get a job done. Love to be able to find some sort of way of uh, getting some good quality dishing tools. I have seen a video on YouTube where a, a gentleman, can't remember his name, I'll try and put it in the description. He was describing how he uses the base of air cylinders. So get a scrap out of commission air cylinder and where the cylinder comes down at the base the underneath has got a, a curve in the bottom and uh, of course that's to make you know adds added strength to the rib and to the base and um, and also to stop any puncturing so if you cut the top off them and flip them over or cut them long and flip them over you can fill them with sand and weld a plate to the bottom which will help to deaden the ring of the sound and uh, apparently they're pretty good I've seen a couple on videos that are on YouTube and uh, they look like a good way of getting around not having a professional uh, swage block with all sorts of different sizes also the uh, air tubes air cylinders come in multiple different sizes with different concave profiles so you can potentially find somebody who either a scrapyard or somebody who um, has these air cylinders that may have, from time to time have scrap ones and um, yeah make your own so I'll be looking into that they're very thick steel and uh, can be used for that purpose I also saw a comment on the same site from somebody else who has used them himself who says how he got multiple sizes and um, strapped them together with like a ratchet strap so it be, the more you put together the more stable they become obviously you'll need more floor space if you do it that way the gentleman I saw doing it who cuts them off short has limited floor space so he can have a two or three of them cut off put them in a filing cabinet drawer or on his bench or wherever he likes and they don't take up too much space but that's for the future this thing I did use it I have made my coal shovel that's the next video and uh, you'll be able to see how it went you can see how it's all scorched but still very smooth it didn't wear it out at all it's smoky obviously but I think that might reduce over time what I did is the first couple of times I used it it got pretty smoky and uh, in between heats I got some water got a cup of water and poured the water into there and that started soaking in I poured another cup in and that soaked in and it got quite damp and that reduced the smoke level quite considerably so that's a bit of a, a hint if you're going to do it yourself okay going to leave it here and say thanks for watching Forge Right and I'll catch you on the next video, which will be making my coal shovel. Thanks again. Bye.